cathedral as we gather for this closing mass cathedral of the Dawson pilgrimage to the Lord's 2000 welcome and to Shrewsbury Cathedral as we gather for this closing mass to join me of the dying the pilgrimage to the Lord's as we greet our lady on this morning the angel of the Lord of mass I invite you to join me in praying, Hail the Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with as we thee. Greet blessed art thou on this women, morning, and blessed the is the angel of the Lord, thy womb, Jesus. Unto Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, for full us of grace, now, the Lord is with and thee. The hour blessed art thou amongst Amen. women, and blessed Behold is the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette of Lourdes, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, protection in our weakness that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Romans. Do not let your love be a pretense, but sincerely prefer good to evil. Love each other as much as brothers should, and have a profound respect for each other. Work for the Lord with untiring effort and with great earnestness of spirit. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up if trials come, and keep on praying. If any of the saints are in need, you must share with them, and you should make hospitality your special care. Bless those who persecute you. Never curse them. Bless them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, and be sad with those in sorrow. Treat everyone with equal kindness. Never be condescending but make real friends with the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Truly God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Great in, Great your, in your midst is, is the Holy, Holy One of Israel. Israel. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things to me. Holy is his name. And his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things. 
the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servants, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At the closing Mass of the Lord's Pilgrimage, we normally anticipate our return home to the diocese. However, in this year, different to all other years, I wish to do the very reverse this morning, to anticipate our return as a diocese to Lord. Like me, you might have felt a gap in your year because we weren't in Lourdes during these past few days. I traveled to Lourdes for more than 40 years and some of you for much longer and there might be a danger with this. We might come to take the radical message of Lord for granted. Following the COVID crisis, we're told that nothing will be ever entirely the same again, and people speak of there being a new normal. So for all of us who hope to return as pilgrims to Lord in the years to come, let's pause to reflect with the words of the gospel on how this new normal for our Darson pilgrimage might look. St. Luke tells how Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to the hill country of Judah. It was a significant journey of four days undertaken, as we're told, with great urgency. This is surely how we should return as pilgrims to Lord, with such a renewed sense of urgency in the years to come, responding to the invitation to discover its message. For it is the same blessed Virgin Mary who now invites us to Lord, so that we might walk together as she asked with all the church in faith and in prayer. May we never just go along to Lourdes because it is what we do every year at the end of July. Rather, may we accept this personal invitation. St. Luke gives us the reason for Our Lady's urgency. It was to come to the aid, he tells us, of her cousin Elizabeth in her hour of need. And what heaven shows us in Lord by calling Bernadette in her sickness and poverty constitutes a call for us to place those who so often are neglected or left on the margins of our society at the center of our concerns. This is what happens in Lourdes, and it invites us to glimpse how the sick, the aged, the poor, the unborn are seen in the eyes of heaven. This is what Lourdes and its invitation allows us to glimpse. And the meeting between Our Lady and Elizabeth, which the Gospel describes, is more than a social or family occasion. It is a moment of prayer, where these two women are ready to give all praise and thanks to God. Lords must lead you and I to such prayer and praise and thanksgiving in the company 
of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is surely the meaning of the graceful encounter between Our Lady and Bernadette in the silence of the grotto. And each pilgrim, all of us, must be ready to put ourselves where Bernadette first knelt. And from that place would flow a new spring of water, symbolizing our need for purification, not merely in its cold mountain waters, rather through the Holy Spirit and the ministry of the church. This stream symbolizes an infinitely deeper cleansing found in the confession of our sins, in the sacrament of our baptism, which Christ left for our conversion. A sacrament we give many beautiful names, confession, reconciliation, penance. This was the word Our Lady used at Lord's conversion and mercy. In the gospel, it is the coming of the world's Redeemer, which was the source of the joy shared by Mary and Elizabeth. And we are invited to share this same joy, to rediscover this great sacrament where we are cleansed from the misery, the only human misery of sin and restored in holiness, which is really the same thing as happiness. The loud cry of Elizabeth seems a significant detail in the gospel in parallel to the cry of the pilgrims as they came in sight of the temple of Jerusalem venerated as God's dwelling place on earth. In the same way, Elizabeth is moved by the Holy Spirit with the child resting in her womb to recognize the mother of her Lord, to glimpse in that moment that Mary is the mother of God. The central message of Lord is to make a place, literally build a church, Bernadette was told, for the mystery and reality of the Eucharist. Before this blessed sacrament, we fall to our knees and we cry out in prayer to God made man truly present among us under the lowly appearances of bread and wine. May Lord's always be for us a pilgrimage of renewed Eucharistic faith and love. This is the urgency with which I hope in the years ahead of us we will return and respond to the invitation to deeper prayer, repentance, service, Eucharistic faith and love. For this is the invitation and indeed the joy we are to find in Lord. Let us pause in this moment to pray for all who have taken part in this virtual and spiritual pilgrimage to Lord. Let us pray for all who are sick and in need amongst us. And let us remember all those pilgrims of Lord who have died, especially in this past year, as we commend them to the mercy of God with the assistance of our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we honour the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise, for truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said, the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you 
and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Bernadette, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. As we come to the close of this pilgrimage, I ask the Lord's blessing upon all who have shared in these days of prayer and reflection and celebration for this virtual pilgrimage of 2020. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please.
for a mother the church affordeth and bless sweetest lady the land of our birth Ave, Ave Ave Maria Ave, Ave Ave Maria For poor sick afflicted thy mercy we crave and comfort the dying thou light of the grave Ave Ave 